Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, so we just wanted to uh, just quickly talk. Well, we're, we're together in school, by the way, now, which is really cool. Which is weird because I'm kind of trying to look that way, but it just looks a bit yeah. weird on the camera. Um, but yeah, we just want to uh, do our little um, like little blog video. Um, so when you read the blog this week, I think it's going to hopefully be quite reflective of like what's changed this week. Um, so, Miss, you've written about change. What's your sort of... I think I'm just trying to find inspiration for you this week because I was saying to Miss Barnsley that when there's ever, <laughs> whenever things change, I find it really difficult and I um, yeah. get quite anxious, don't I? Yeah. And I, it's so hard and it's so easy, sorry, in those times to forget to sort of offer it up. And we've been saying it for weeks, offer it up. Yeah. And then that's where I thought today, I was like, why am I not looking for scriptural insp inspiration? And so I just like put loads of pictures in there for you, like from Jeremiah, yeah, so from nice. Isaiah, because I was like, oh, actually, they had a far more difficult time <laughs> than I have in my little change that has happened where I've been in school, which has been great being yeah. with like friends and seeing people and actually being with them. Um, our year tens like, yeah seeing other faces has been really sort of it special been good it's tiring yeah. we were just saying actually it's quite you know and we're you know we're adults right and <laughs> and, and and even we're we? feeling well <laughs> and even we're feeling a little bit sort of tired Anxious by it and, and yeah tired, just like yeah. it is just different so you know it's okay that if you guys are feeling tired that's absolutely normal as well um and like miss yeah. bruni this week has oh, given yeah. you loads of tips about when you hit a wall so yeah. you get to this point we're sort of 12 weeks into this kind of lockdown and um you probably hit a wall a few times and so she's giving you some really good top tips so yeah yeah just read it and get some inspiration it's inspirational and, and actually I wrote about this week how again like I've and my thing is trying not to fall back into my old habits because miss knows this like and I try I I I, I basically go non-stop and I've written this week about how now we're back at school I need to keep my lockdown routines because I actually love them of like having just a bit more time to just pray and like just spend time with God like it's just incredible and I haven't honestly I haven't done it for two weeks since I've been back at school I literally haven't um and so I've written about how other people have been basically praying for me and amazing things have happened. Um, and I know Mrs. Like, literally Mrs. <laughs> Every Mrs. night, and amazing. Our, our fathers and Hail oh, Mary. So to lucky. Like, every, you know, some yeah. wonderful things have happened literally just in the last four days. It's mm. literally been since Monday that some amazing things have happened and it's been because of prayer. So I don't, and I'm, I, and I'm frustrated at myself that I'm, I'm still surprised that God can answer prayer. Like literally you can pray for everything. Like, mm. Even if your eyebrows are out of shape, just be like, in Jesus' name, like, you, know, you, know, I mean, you never know. Yeah. You can pray for <laughs> you it. Can, like, but... You can pray for it. Like, just honestly, just pray for everything and expect God to do good things and expect your prayers to be I think that's answers. the key. It's the expectation. Yeah. Like, so I he know. Yeah, he does. And I didn't know. I, I When I was praying for Miss Barnsley this week, I was like, I'm not sure what words to use. So every time I just kind of did like a decade of the rosary and just kept her on my heart because I didn't know what necessarily to say. So I was just she was just there. And I think it's OK to pray in that way as well. Yeah. Just if you don't know what to say, St. Francis de Sales said, I think we spoke about it at the beginning of lockdown, where he says, um, if you haven't got the words, don't be afraid to sit with God. Yeah. Um, and let him look at you and you look at him um, yeah because that's powerful too um, um and I've just got a really really amazing quote about prayer I'm just going to read it quickly to you um I can't pronounce the guy's surname John Saint Chrysostom John Chrysostom yeah so he wrote prayer is the root the fountain the mother of a thousand blessings the potency of prayer has subdued the strength of life it has bridled the range of lions, extinguished wars, appeased the elements, expelled demons, burst the chains of death, expanded the gates of heaven. Um, I don't know, like got rid of diseases, rescued cities from destruction and arrested the progress of the thunderbolt. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So you never know what you can achieve with a bit of prayer. So that's our encouragement for you. Don't worry about the change. Take, just take inspiration from a couple of words. Literally, it doesn't have to be passages and passages of the Bible, just a line literally one line yeah one line and half that's a what, line <laughs> yeah because not everyone reads yeah. the bible like a book someone asked me that question today miss have you read the bible like a book and i'm like wow. no, no i haven't and, yeah you know i think so. there are there are snippets of inspiration through the ages two thousand year old inspiration even older um and it's there to just like pick up upon um 
Yeah. yeah. So that's our inspiration for this week. So see you next week, guys. Um, take Bye. care. God bless.